It's all systems go for Lamu Port. The first transshipment cargo hailing from Zanzibar, Tanzania, is being shipped out to Saudi Arabia by CMA CGM container vessel MV Spirit of Dubai. The ship had to make a maiden call at the port of Lamu where it loaded 62 containers which contained seaweeds destined for Jeddah Islamic port in Saudi Arabia. We had made a promise to His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta that we are going to bring a vessel as a trial in Lamu port. So today, which is uh, 19th of July, exactly two months later, we have a vessel. This port um, will help us now develop the hinterland. We are we're targeting to move goods to Ethiopia, southern Sudan, and the further hinterland. Um, we are also, in, within the same strategy, developing the maritime port, uh, the Shimoni port for fishing industry. Kenya Ports Acting Managing Director John Mongemi is now working on the completion of all other baths, which will play a significant role in transshipment. The aim of Kenya Ports Authority is to have this as the most important and the biggest transshipment port in the east coast of Africa. We can take the largest container ships in a vessel up to 410 meters. So as you can see now, we have the first three baths ready. We are working on the two, two yards here, which will be ready in the next four months. Transshipment is where cargo or containers get moved from one vessel to another while in transit to its final destination. This mainly happens when there are no direct connection between two ports. So we had managed to submit the manifest through ICMS. Uh, which is integrated custom management systems, was then transmitted to KPA and KRA and Kentred. So the whole process went smoothly. The cargo was released system-wise to the point now it's been loaded on board. He further noted that the construction of the Moyale Road will be a game changer to the port of Lamu since Ethiopia will be using the road in transportation of its cargo. Kenya. Our strategy for this part of the, of the world is to make sure that all we tap into all the businesses coming from the Far East, from Europe, for transshipment. KPA has waived some of its charges in order to attract more ships at the new facility that was launched in May by President Uhuru Kenyatta. The new facility is now one of the largest ports in sub-Saharan Africa and will target countries along Indian Ocean Island, such as Seychelles and Comoros, among others. Linda Koskei, K24 TV.